Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and today we are heading across the sea to Cyanwood for our next gym and also to pick up the potion to help the Ambros. Now, since our last part, I have given our queen, Smoochum, the XP share. I went and picked that up off screen and I also got us a Krabby because we need something with strength and surf. Surf to get across the sea, strength for Chuck's gym. So, we're going to get to that. I'm putting Oddish at the front, and uh, it's just going to absorb its way across the sea. Let's do this. Starting with this swimmer. You have to warm up before going into the water. That's basic. Alrighty. Let's go. Swimmer Simon wants to battle. Tentacle. I'm expecting to see a lot of these as we cross the sea. Can't poison a poison type, friend. And because of Tentacle's um, part poison typing, Absorb is just regular damage instead of super effective. So, what can we use instead? <coughs> we have Butterfree with Confusion. Which will do a lot more. Bang. That should... Goodness me, Tentacle has high defense. Very high defensive stats to be able to survive that. Okay, better. And of course, XP for Queen. Yep, keep Butterfree out. <clears throat> okay, another confusion. Wow. That is just... Wow. That is a high special defense stat. Now, I'm unsure about the specifics of a uh, Tentacle's stat distribution. But it must be high. It must be high in order to uh, survive that. Okay, Uncle, I give. Right. Swimmer over here. A veritable army of tentacles as we cross the sea here. Here we go. Are you going to see Anwood? How about a quick battle first? Go on then. <clears throat> go on then, since you asked so nicely. Swimmer Elaine. Star you. Now this is something the Oddish will have more success against. Increasing your physical defense isn't going to work as well here. Nice. Very nice. Oh my lord, recover. Of course. Is it just going to try and stall me out with recover? It looks like it is. It looks like it is. It's gonna be one of those days, is it, Star You? Good. Rapid spin. Not rapid enough, I'm afraid, friend. Good. <clears throat> Level 15 on our queen. I lost that one. Indeed you did. Let's keep going. We have swimmers to defeat. No inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to a sea Pokemon. Swimmer Paula. <laughs> More star use. Hello. 
Oddish, if you would. That's not too bad. Probably going to recover again, isn't it? Nope. And here I was expecting another recover. <clears throat> Apologies about clearing my throat a bit, guys. I've um, still got a bit of congestion. I suffer with it periodically. It's uh, not fun. Not quite sure what the throat problems are, as I've said to some of our regulars on the channel. It might be some kind of allergy. The doctor once said it might be a, a dust or pollen allergy that's causing it. And uh, my gaming room is a bit dusty. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. Shelda might be a problem. It has high special defense. Unless I muddled that up with physical defense, because... Uh, that shelter didn't last as long as I thought it would. Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. Nope, Oddish. A few more levels and then you can become a Gloom. Just a few more levels and you are free to become a Gloom. I want you to learn your moves quicker. Across the sea, friends. <laughs> Have I got a few repels handy? <clears throat> I'm genuinely wondering. Is there a repel handy? That'll do. That'll do. I'm going to search the area for more trainers. I'm a bit tired. If I win, lend me a Pokemon. You shouldn't be swimming so far out. You should be careful, dude. Six. Oh, no. A veritable army of tentacle. Uh, Butterfree, this might take us a minute. Bring on the confusion. An absolute armada of tentacle. Yeah, he's got like six of the things, I'm sure. Goodness me. Keep confusing them. Constrict. Arguably the worst move in the game, just about. Good. Level 16 on Queen. More tentacles. They just keep coming. They keep coming. We'll have to keep confusing. This is going to be a hassle. A star you. That's a bit better. Hello, Oddish. Do you want this one? You can have this one. Get absorbing if you'd be so kind. Wow, critical hit. Marvelous. And down. More tentacle. The ju- Oh god, I just- I just swapped into queen. That was not intended. I mean, I very much doubt you're gonna be able to take anything out. 
Yeah, we'll uh, we'll swap back to Butterfree. That was an accident. A couple more levels before I start using her actively in battle. These poison stings aren't having a lot of success for these tentacles, are they? They're not working. She got three quarters of the XP there. Remoraid. Uh, yeah. Uh, Oddish. Do you want in, friend? Beep, beep. I love Remoraid. It evolves into Octillery, and I like Octillery. I want to use the Octillery in a Soul Silver playthrough. And it was really good. <clears throat> Octillery is supremely underrated. Supremely underrated. And done. 17. <sighs> I don't know if that sounded dramatic enough. Alrighty. The water's warm here. I'm loose and limber. Sure, I'll take you on. Deal with the army of swimmers. Hey, Shelba. We're running out of absorbs here. Oddish has certainly got its money's worth in terms of XP. Of course. Another tentacle. Uh, yeah, Butterfree, you're up. Okay, do the confusion. Almost 29. Well, these poison stings just are not landing, are they, in terms of the poison effect? Okay. What's next? Sense of cruel, oh god. Alright. This is gonna be fun. I'm guessing just under half. Yeah. You send out something big and scary like Tentacruel, <clears throat> and you only use Constrict? Why? Like, legitimately, why? There's something with a bit more bite to it. Good. 18. Yikes. I've got prune skin. He is turning into a prune. Another swimmer there. Right. Use a, use a super potion on our... Butterfree. Alrighty. How much XP until your next level, Queen? A thousand. Your special attack stats certainly going up. Can't complain at that. You look like... Sorry, you look so elegant riding your Pokemon. Thank you. I aim to please. Swimmer Susie. Hey, it's Psyduck. Sai. Right. 
Okay, get absorbing. Damn it. Damn it, my poison typing. Good, another one of those will do nicely. And done. That is one absorbed duck. You could also argue it's an absorbent duck. Because ducks have uh, special waterproof feathers. Actually, no, that would make it a, a repellent duck, not an absorbent duck, wouldn't it? Sorry, now disregard that previous statement. Alright. Oh god. The Goldeen has Peck. The Psyduck has Confusion. Or is she having a bad day? Well, I say that, but we've certainly done well there. The joys of XP. I'm crushed. Sorry. There are a lot of swimmers out here. You know, I might use an ether. There we go. Right. See those islands that are blocked by whirlpools? There just has to be a secret. Quillfish! Wasn't expecting a quillfish. Was not expecting a quillfish. I wonder why so many of these water Pokemon have the ability to, um, raise their freaking physical defense. Poison Sting won't do any good here. Keep absorbing. Absorb the Quillfish. It's a Pokemon I don't ever see used very often, Quillfish. I mean, to be frank and honest with you, it's a Pokemon I haven't used all that much. If ever, really. <coughs> Sorry, we're just getting a sip of water. Yeah, I, um, I don't recall using the thing at all. That is one downed quillfish. What's the secret to your strength? A lot of absorbing. A lot of absorbing. We'll go for that. Okay, we're at Cyanwood. Very, very nice. Alrighty. Let's make landfall. Alrighty. So, do you know what we are going to do now that we have arrived? I am going to heal up our Pokemon. And then, I am going to do a little bit of off-screen grinding. I'll tell you what. We'll do the first few minutes on-screen, and then for the rest of it, we'll um, go off-screen. Because I want to get Queen to level 21. Because when Queen gets to level 21, she will learn Confusion. And that's gonna make this next gym a rather fun time. Also need to wait for the Repel to wear off. Let me see if there's another trainer around here. She'll do. Alright, at night, star you gather near the water's surface. Marvellous, thank you for telling me. Well, until the repel wears off, we'll just take on some trainers. Hey, a horsey, I like horsey, it's a nice Pokemon. Right, um, Queen can take this and then I'll swap to Oddish. 
That is my plan of action. Oh, not smokescreen. Yeah, it's a good job we're switching out. I'm not a fan of smokescreen, to say the least. Okay. Righty. Who's next? Another horsey. Uh, Oddish, if you would. Oh, and in the next part also, guys, I'm going to be renaming most of my Pokemon and giving them some nicknames. Because uh, they need, you know, they need to have some nicknames. It's a bit more fun when you do that. I don't usually do it, but for the sake of the playthrough and making it a bit more fun, we will do that. That and uh, Jinx already has, oh sorry, Smoochum already has one, so, you know. Oh my god, it has Dragon Rage. Was not expecting that. Was absolutely not expecting that. That certainly subverted my expectations a bit. Ooh. 19. Okay. Oh dear. You're saying oh dear. I was saying oh dear when you brought out Dragon Ridge. I was not expecting that. Nope, nope. Silver, don't be silly. Right. Butterfree is now at the highest level. <coughs> out of the, uh... The whole party. So we'll do a quick switcheroo. Are you seeking the secrets of Whirl Islands? Uh, no, to be honest, I'm just trying to find trainers to grind against, but... Hey, each to their own. Dun, 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 dun. Love Krabby. Absolutely love Krabby. Right. Vice Grip hurts. It's a really hard hitting move. Is it only Krabby that learns it as well? Swim so Matthew. Any more trainers? Any more trainers? Hmm. Oh, Jack Schoolboy. It's me, Jack. Did you know that if you use Defense Call Rollouts, the power goes way up more than normal? I did not know that. I'm sure Whitney did with her atrocious mill tank, but I did not. Mantine! I like that Pokemon. Right. You are going to make some good XP. Just a bubble. Oh, that's some high defense. Alright, I'll tell you what. Um, Butterfree, you've got this, I reckon. Am I going to have to like poison oh wow that is some shockingly high defense yeah that is a uh, really good defense and it has bubble beam wonderful it has some really damaging moves as well but it's not fast so that's okay Critical hit. Ugh. Supersonic now. This is mildly frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Bailiff! I'm to let everyone tag in to deal with this thing. Everyone take a turn on the Mantine. Razor Leaf.
At last. 28 on Oddish. Right. Few more levels and then we'll evolve it to Gloom. Right. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do now, guys... I'm going to carry on with some grinding off screen until our queen is at level 21 and knows confusion. And then what I'm going to do is head and fight Chuck's gym. So, when I come on back, we'll be back in Cyanwood again. See you in a second. Fade to black and be right back. Okay, we are back and our Smoochum is level 21. And now knows confusion. So we're going to take her into the gym and see what she can do. And also, while we are here, the pharmacy. 500 years of tradition, Cyanwood Pharmacy. We await your medicinal queries. Okay. Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. Silver received secret potion. My secret potion is a, is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. Yes, um... Super potion me please. Grab a hyper. And um... Probably a couple of revives as well. That'll do. Alright, into the gym we go. Cyanwood Pokemon Gym, leader Chuck. His roaring fists do the talking. We'll see, won't we? My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. We will see. We will see. Now. Typically, fighting Pokemon have trash special stats. We'll see how that pans out, shall we? Well, um... Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold on. I think we need to keep our Smoochum in reserve for a bit. <laughs> it's not ready yet. Right. Good thing is Butterfree is part of flying, so I think that will give a resistance to fighting type Pokemon. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not going as well as I would have liked. Let me use a revive. It's a good job we got one. This is, um... This is definitely not the definition of... A job well done, is it? <coughs> now don't use it on Butterfree. Hold on. Use it on Queen. One more confusion should do it. Job done. That thing hit hard. Black Belt Yoshi was defeated. This isn't real. Alright, the next one should have a hit Monchan. We martial artists fear nothing. And uh, yeah, hit Monchan will have all the elemental punches. So I'd better watch it here. I like Hitmonchan. Purely because I'm a fan of boxing. I like boxing. Don't mind the odd what watching the odd boxing match on TV. That's gonna hurt. Wait. Far less than I thought it would. Is Hitman is Hitmonchan more defensively Ah no I get it. Pre-physical special split. 
All fire type moves are special, and Hitmonchan has a garbage special stat. That hurt though. Awesome. And Hitmonchan is down. That's shocking. It's certainly something. <laughs> certainly something, put it that way. Heal on up. Queen isn't ready yet. I uh, vastly overestimated what I would be able to do here. That's on me. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Black belt mob. We might be able to deal with the Machop. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, for goodness sake. Why do I try? <laughs> Why do I try? Right. <laughs> All those revives that we got are gonna now be used on Smoochum. To be fair... Glass cannon. Glass cannon. Does damage based on level. Another seismic toss. Right. We'll swap out from Oddish here. Twenty-two. Machoke. Not gonna happen. Um Butterfree, come on back in. Confusion. Bring it on. Right. Okay. Just over, oh god, rock slide. That's gonna hurt a lot. That's gonna hurt a hell of a lot. No, no. One hit. Oh dear. Do you know what I'm actually gonna do? <clears throat> I think Smoochum will move first against the Machoke. It's typically slow and um, sluggish. Well, there goes that plan of sending Oddish in and uh, getting the poison powder. <sighs> right. Bay Leaf. Pull up a reflect. There we are. Use the razor leaf. This thing's actually putting in a lot of work. I'm pleasantly surprised. Goodness me. I lost, I'm speechless. Yeah, well, that Machoke put up one heck of a fight. We're gonna have to heal from that. 
my expectations were far too high here. Far too high, I think. Alright. Let's go. Go heal the Pokemon Center first. Because, uh, yeah, we got smacked around like a beach ball. It was, um, not fun, to say the very least. Okay. Right. Let's move these boulders. Perfect. Right. Um, Butterfree, you seem to be doing all the work here. So let's go. My raging fists will shatter your Pokemon. That's not nice. That's not nice at all, is it? My poor innocent feelings. My poor innocent feelings are wounded. Good, almost no damage. Butterfree certainly doing the Lord's work here. Definitely doing the Lord's work. Another Mankey, and I think the last one they've got is a Primeape. Yes! Nicely done. Primeape is coming in. I actually quite like Primeape, it's one of my favourite Pokemon. Or well, one of my favourite fighting Pokemon, anyway. Good, it missed. Level 30. Very good. I got shattered, indeed you did. And last of all is the gym leader. Right, almost level 23. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. With that defense stance, I can see why she's going down in one hit to everything. Considering I used Jinx so much, I should have been, um. A bit more careful. I genuinely thought I'd be able to one-shot a couple of things in here with confusion. But no, they're far higher levels than I remember them being. Wahaha! So you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokémon will crush stones and shatter bones. <clears throat> Watch this! Ugh. Ugh. There. Scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Thankfully, Chuck only has two. Primeape and Polyrath. Right. And I think Butterfree has a good handle on both. Fury swipes. I'm surprised that the trainers and the gym leaders aren't using potions. And I know I've said that before, but it's just bothering me. It is bothering me quite substantially. Right. Good, good. One down. 23. Now, 
Polyrath will keep trying to use Dynamic Punch. It's half fighting typing. It's gonna mean we can chip it down a bit. Right. Critical hit, nice. And it missed. And just like that, we win. An easy victory. Leader Chuck was defeated. What? Huh? I lost. How about that? You worthy of Storm Badge? We have the Storm Badge. Makes all Pokemon up to level 70 or B. We even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use Fly when you're not in battle. Here, take this too. What I'm going to have to do off screen is um, go pick up a, a HM buddy to fly with. Like a spear or a Pidgeot or something, it'll work. Doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. I think this move has the worst accuracy in the game at 50. And with just 5 PP, you need to have like um, a lock on move in order to hit. Something like Mind Reader. Alright. Cool. And now, we'll head over to Jasmine in the Lighthouse and hand over the potion. A job well done here. A job well done. Alright. Because I haven't got a flying friend yet, and we're going to have to cross the sea all over again, I will fade to black, and then we will go and give Jasmine the potion, and give her gym a try. And if we win, we win. Which, to be honest, I'm not expecting, because she has a level 35 Steelix, and that thing is atrocious. If we don't win, what I'm going to do is... In the next part, I'm going to go back up to the Lake of Rage, after we've got a flyer, and train against all the trainers up near the Lake of Rage, and then come back down and, uh, yeah, give her a rematch. So that's the plan. I will see you fine folks in the lighthouse. Don't go anywhere. Bit of a sad admission to make here. I totally forgot to pick up the fly here, Gem. So we better do that now. You cross the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would have been much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That's Cyanwood's gym badge. Then you should take this hit gem. Yeah, I've definitely forgotten a few more things about this game than I would have liked to admit. Okay, teach fly? Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little chubby. Alright. Fair enough. And, uh, yeah. While I was off screen, this is where the, uh, the admission gets a little bit more uh, shameful. I uh, went all the way across the sea again, caught a flyer, and then realized they didn't have the fly HM, so I had to come back. So I caught a Pidgeotto, and we will use the Pidgeotto to fly on back. And then I will see you fine people once we are at the lighthouse. This has proved very fun today, hasn't it? You know what they say, guys. Every day is an adventure. Alright. I will see you fine folks at the lighthouse. Alright. We have an Ampharos to help. Hello, Jasmine. Will that medicine cure Ampy? Indeed it will. Handed the secret potion to Jasmine. Um, please don't be offended. And we will not take anything from anyone but me. Awesome. Ampy, how are you feeling? Yay! Palu, palu, palu. Happy Ampharos. Yay. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very, very much. I'll return to the gym. 
Very nice. And I will challenge you to a Pokemon battle. I will see you fine folks at the gym. My expectations for this one aren't very high, but let's see what we can do. It's not necessarily the Magnemites I'm concerned about, it's the Steelix. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Steel type. Do you know about the Steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? She's precious. And she's probably going to destroy me with that Steelix. So my plan of action is an actually simplistic one. It is simply called poison powder everything. A Magnemite's... Re a Magnemite's resistant to freaking status effects. Oh god. Oh dear. It begins. I do wonder if it might be uh, resistant to poison. In which case my plan of action may not work as intended. Even with resistance, that was bad. 20 damage even with resistance. And that was critical hit damage? We're gonna be here for a while. Oh, these Magnemites are going to harass us something fierce, aren't they? Okay, got our reflect up. Yeah, we've got to take out the Magnemites. Before we even consider bringing out Butterfree because of its flying typing. Alright. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a nightmare, I can tell. Oddish. Are they resistant to stun? We'll, we'll see, won't we? A steel types resistant to status effects? No. Alright. That's fine. Absorbing won't do jack against this thing, I don't think. Literally nothing. Ugh. Um. <clears throat> we'll bring out Queen. I don't have a plan for this. Because they resist practically everything we have. One hit. The grass type is just... You're at such a disadvantage. You're at such a horrendous disadvantage using the grass type... ...in this game. It's shocking. The, um, kind of disadvantage you're actually at. We're struggling to get past the first Magnemite. This is... Well, let's not beat around the bush. It's, uh... It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some training up at the Lake of Rage before we try her again. And I've said it a million times during this playthrough, but we were at a disadvantage against... Faulkner. Our grass type Pokemon were at a disadvantage against Bugsy. Whitney just rolled us to death. If it wasn't for Butterfree's confusion, we would have had a nightmare in Morty's gym because the ghosts and their poison typing would have resisted all of our grass moves. Chuck was actually not too bad. And now Jasmine resists everything that we have. And then we're going to go to Price, who has an advantage against everything we have. 
All it's going to take is one Thunderbolt to knock us out. One Thunderbolt to knock us out. Good. Fully paralyzed. Okay. We got past the first Magnemite. That... That doesn't bode well for us. It took three of our four party members to get past it. Can we put it to sleep? We can. So now do we just confusion it into oblivion? Should we try and confuse it while it's asleep? We're just going to have to harass it with status effects. That's the only way we're going to conceivably get it through. All it has to do is land one Thunderbolt and we are out. One. Okay, it will probably wake up next turn. Come on, confusion. Right. Okay. Paralysis heal. Where is it? We bought full heals earlier on, didn't we? Right. Come on, confusion. Oh, thank goodness for that. Put it back to sleep. Keep whittling it down. I mean, let's not lie. Let's not try and make out that this battle is going well. Because it's a freaking battle of attrition. Bring Bearleaf back. Couple more confusions should take this thing down. I mean, do you know what we might as well do here? Like, and I mean this, unironically. We might as well just take the loss as far as Butterfree goes. Because if he gets hit with a Thunder Wave now... Oh, I'm sorry, not Thunder Wave, but Thunder Bolt. We're going down. Oh, thank goodness, the Mint Berry we had. I'm oh, sorry, Bitter Berry. Yep, it's down now. Whoa, it survived. Fully paralyzed, though. This is... This is grim. This is pretty grim. Let's not lie. Right. All of Steelix's attacks are physical, and Bearleaf's a bit bulkier. So as desperate as it, as it sounds... <clears throat> do you know what my plan is for the Steelix? Try and put up a reflect. Hope it's low accuracy on Iron Tail works to our advantage. And try and wall it out with poison powder. Come on. How much is that going to do? Oh my god, even to Bearleaf. That did a shocking amount. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, train before we come back here. I don't conceivably see us winning, you know? Put a reflect up.
All right, with the reflect up, we can um, weather at least a hit or two. We've got to get a lucky break though, and um, land poison powder on it. Okay, I'm gonna trust in the RNG gods here. Nope. And Steelix lands it. Meaning we're out. Ugh. Our typing has left us at a massive disadvantage. Alright. Well, that's our plan of action for the uh, next part. Decided. We are going up to the Lake of Rage to train on all the traders up there and uh, then once we have gotten some more levels in and gotten everybody a bit stronger we're gonna come back and give Jasmine the rematch right okay right So, for now, this is where we'll leave it. A huge thank you to everybody <coughs> that stopped in. You know something? I'm so used to seeing other people sweep through this game. Like, it's ridiculously easy. If you're playing a run where you've got a lot of typing disadvantages, yeah, it's not easy anymore. It's a legitimate challenge. But yes... A huge thank you to everybody that stopped in, and I do hope you enjoyed yourselves. And an extra special thank you to our first silver patron at the time of recording this video, Mr. Jonathan. It is very much appreciated, and your support is very, very awesome. It helps beyond words. And yes, if you would like to support what we do here, you can become a silver patron for just £2.50 a month or $3.00. And the links to that are in the video description and the channel's about section. Two fifty or three dollars. The same price as a small cup of coffee or a bus ticket. Not at all essential, but very much appreciated. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. And as ever, you've been super awesome, as I've probably said three times now. Sorry, I'm a bit frazzled from def um, the defeat against Janine. Sorry, Jasmine. Wrong person. Janine is Koga's daughter. Yes. So, guys. I have been Silver. Your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care, guys.